<laughs> so today i'll be doing a video discussing the strongest of all and why there is a new strongest character in hunter x hunter now yo we know that the first strongest of all it went to our main man netero yes we all know that netero at one point he was looked at as the strongest nen user and respectfully so because we saw all the things that netero was able to do i mean this man literally dedicated his life just to throwing hands i mean when you dedicate your life to throwing hands then you better come out a monster because if you're not then hey what are you what were you doing the whole time and we seen netero he did not waste any time he was able to move faster than light he mastered the lady gyokuen technique i know i just butchered that name don't come for me in the comment section but we saw all the things that netero was able to do he was one of the few hunters to make it to and from the dark continent we know that that has a low survival rate and he was able to make it multiple times back so netero respectfully so he was known as the strongest hunter in the series but then the strongest of all title was shifted over to Meruem after he defeated Netro because he was able to take out Netro in a fair one-on-one -on -one fight and he didn't even go all out. Yes, that's the thing. Meruem didn't even go all out. Even though he was killed by Netro in the end, we saw that in a terms of his raw physical power and then strength of them just fighting, Netro stood no chance. And we even seen that Meruem got reborn and had even more power. So you know that Netro would even hold a candle to that to post nuke Meruem. So we definitely do know that post nuke Meruem or just Meruem alone, he definitely was the strongest of all, and he definitely did not disappoint either. He was one shotting everybody. Like there was a lot of times where Meruem showed how strong he really was. But the new strongest of all has officially been switched over to the fourth Prince of Kakid. And this is the biggest Hunter x Hunter news that we have so far because we found out that the fourth Prince is actually a Nen Master. Yes, we know that of all the Princes, not all of them are necessarily Nen Masters. Some of them are good at Nen. Some of them have a lot of Nen potential. But they have stressed that the fourth Prince is a Master of Nen. And we also know that this guy is very evil. Yes, we know that he is the one that is actually collecting most of the scarlet eyes and you gotta think that is pretty crazy to think because the phantom true they were the ones that were searching for the scarlet eyes they wanted them and they're a band of thieves so to find out that somebody of this caliber is the one holding the scarlet eyes goes to show you that he is an evil and a sick twisted person so we know that he definitely isn't going to be on the good guy's side and we know that he also does set up an objective for the main character or at least one of the main characters known as Karapika yes we know that at one point Karapika he is going to have to fight against the fourth prince and i'm gonna be honest i'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name it's like tsunderic i don't even know i listen i'm not even gonna try to do it i don't know why i just did but you guys know who he is the fourth prince we know that he will be most likely karapika's hardest opponent that he's ever fought yet so not only is he a nen master he's evil but he also does set up as one of the main objectives for the main character one of our main characters in karapika and now he is currently the strongest of all so i definitely do think that this is going to be a great benchmark for karapika to surpass and we also got introduced to a new strongest of all comment what you guys seen down below subscribe if you haven't peace out for the rest of us we're drinking the finest table